So a question we're asked quite often is where do we sleep? Do we use campsites or do we not? We, 99% of the time, don't use a campsite. We tend to try and find somewhere really, really quiet. Away from everyone, where we're not gonna bother anyone and somewhere we're not gonna be bothered. But last night, we broke our rule, didn't we? We decided we couldn't be bothered to look for a nice quiet place any longer, so we stayed in a lay-by on a main road. And Abby slept about 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, but we're in York today doing a bit of shopping, so that was really close for us. So that was handy, but we haven't, haven't had much sleep. So now we've done our shopping, we're gonna head off and try and find a nice quiet place, not on a campsite, in the middle of nowhere. So we're not in the middle of nowhere. We thought we were, but when we parked last night, it was really heavy fog. And we've woke up this morning, and there must be 80 cars parked down the road. We think just because we're parked near the Ribblehead Viaduct. And we're gonna have a walk and go and have a look at it anyway. But it wasn't such a quiet place. We're still near a road. This is the most time we've ever slept by a road. We usually find somewhere really nice and quiet because we have got a lithium battery that gives us the ability to park off grid and we can charge all our phones and devices and everything. So if you haven't got a lithium battery, you're probably not gonna be able to do that for very long. So let's go and have a walk and have a look at this viaduct anyway, as we're here. You might be looking at the bloody viaduct. <laughs> I am looking at it. You're fucking not. I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit oh, oh, everyone else wants to see it. All yeah. oh, right. Yeah. It does still amaze me, like how big they are when you actually get to it. They are massive. Why don't we build stuff like that no more? Why? And you used to be able to come park down here, actually. Many in the world. That's all, yeah. We were hoping that we could go and park over there. Yeah, as you can see, people still come down here. There's little marks in the grass. The oh, lovely we big, stuck, look, look at all that space down there, like a massive car park. No, you're not allowed down here no more. You can't drive down there. No, because people do it. Oh, that's ruined the grass. <sighs> No motorhomes, no, no camper vans, and you can't park there. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. I nearly came down here, my trainers actually. Good job, I didn't. See the viaduct anyway, because when we got up here last night, we couldn't see a bloody thing, could we? What was it? Yeah, it's getting foggy again now. Well, it's time to head off now anyway and find somewhere for lunch. Although next time we come here, we didn't realise. But there's a pub right next to us that lets you stay in their car park with free services if you buy a drink or a meal. So next time we're this way, or maybe tonight, we shall stay in there. We've had our short lunch break, which wasn't very short. Two hours later. Yeah. <laughs> but we stopped at a small, uh, no, it's not a small farm shop. It's a bloody big farm shop. They do lots of banging food and we are full. And now we're gonna head down to the Peak District where hopefully, third time lucky, we can find a quiet park up for the night. While on our way to go and find this quiet place to sleep, we actually found a really nice place on top of the hill where we could relax for a bit and watch some fireworks through the windscreen. So we've actually found our third time lucky car park. 
So we've got the whole car park to ourselves tonight. Peace and quiet. Apart from the fireworks. Yeah, not so peace and quiet though, is it? Because of all the fireworks we're now going to get all night probably. So we're probably going to sit down and watch a film for a little while until the fireworks settle before we go to sleep. And then hopefully we're not going to have any more disturbances. And we've even found a bin where we can get rid of some of our rubbish, which is full of firework boxes. That can go on the top then. This is the bed routine. <laughs> <laughs> Rub your eyes until they are red raw. <laughs> then you will sleep like a baby. Ah! She's a squirter. <laughs> this is not a paid promotion. CN Little. <laughs> <laughs> you still got a stick in my pocket from the cheese testing. <laughs> you had a bit of cheese and then stuck a I cocktail in I put the cocktail in stick in my pocket so I didn't know where to put it. Jesus. And it's not the sort of the... chop that you would put, chop on the floor, is it? You've been walking around with a cheesy stick in your pocket all day. I'm going to watch some TV. Let's watch some TV and then we go to bed. See you in the morning. The following morning, we realised what a beautiful place we'd actually slept at last night. <laughs> I've had to go for a little walk by myself because uh, Abby needs a little bit more privacy than me to go to the toilet in the morning. Understandable really in a tiny van like that. Not for everyone. After a short walk around this lovely reservoir, we headed off to have some lunch. So we've just come to Home Moth Summit for our lunch, just to show you the views. But, that's the view. The fog's in. Yeah, uh, it's the clouds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, We're in the clouds. That's the, that's the clouds. Yeah. The view was quite nice last night, seeing all the fireworks from the Let's top, see. yeah, from the top, but you can't see nothing there. So we're going to have some sausage rolls and a piece of cake. And back on the road. Smith the road, Jack. Da, 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 da. Don't you come back no more, no more. more. The road, yeah. Would come back here though. You would. Not this car park, not the kiddie no. car park. No, actually, yeah. If but you've, if you've got a camper van or motorhome, do not come to Home Moss Summit Car Park to sleep. To sleep, <laughs> because you will be woken up by 65 million teenagers with loud exhausts. It's good for the views. It's where they hang out, by the looks of it. Not good to sleep. Yeah. Rossage souls. Sausage bones. 